where my hair was before in short clip right here and we see where it is now your girl got inches <laughs> From you wake up every morning, you's a winner, yeah. yeah. What going on, guys? It's your girl, Reza, in the brrrr, the, the, the. If you're new to my channel and you really want to know what goes on around here, I post natural hair videos, fitness videos, cooking videos, workout videos, vlogs sometimes. Your girl does everything on here, so if you want to join, come through. Come, welcome. You guys can also follow me on Instagram. I have two Instagram pages. I have my Reza Empress Instagram page and I also have my fitness Instagram page called Empress Fit. So definitely check those out while you're here. Maybe it was a month or two ago, I did a length retention video on how I'll be retaining majority of my length this year. And if you missed that video, I'll always put the videos up in the cards. So make sure you check the cards too. I don't know if it's this way or this way, but I should know where now. It's a basic overview and rundown of what we're starting today, which is my length retention series. So in this series, I'm basically going to go in depth of everything, length retention, uh, everything that you should know to make everything easier for you to understand and to implement into your routine so that you can also start growing while saving your inches because that's the biggest problem a lot of us have with our natural hair our hair is growing but the biggest issue is that we're not retaining any of the length so i think i do pretty well with retaining length even though i do struggle sometimes y'all i'm not gonna lie because length retention has a lot to do with how well you know your hair and that's why i always push that you guys learn your hair know your hair know exactly what your hair needs at specific times and then figure out what works for you of course i can give you tips that will help you along your journey but at the end of it all you have to know what works for your hair and act accordingly okay i have a lot of natural hair maintenance growth retention hair care like i have a lot of those videos on my channel so grab your popcorn and just Go through my videos let's get into this video because i have been talking the most vital information about moisture is that one of the best format that moisture comes from for our textured hair is in water water is not the enemy and you guys might think differently for different textures of course we all know my hair texture well i need to do a video on how my hair texture has changed but i have very loose curls very kinky thin coarse strands and it's low porosity i have medium density my hair is very fine and thin but it expands if I had to show you guys one strand of my hair, you would never know that my hair is that thin. But water is not the enemy. I've dealt with textures like mine. I've dealt with textures that are very kinky. Like my mom has very kinky, coarse hair. I have coarse hair and my mom's hair is even coarser than mine. And once water touches her hair, the moisture is... Oh my God! It's just full of life and soft to the touch moisturized fluffy but it does not stop there first of all let me get this out of the way oil is not a moisturizer and i feel like since we're in 2019 i feel like y'all should know this by now stop only using oil in your hair and wondering why your hair is always so dry oil is more of a sea lunch and if you're not putting the first base, which is the water, on top of your hair or a product that contains, if you're going to put oil in your hair, your first base should not be the oil. Your first base should be a product that has water as the first ingredient. Or if you're going to put oil in your hair as well, the best time to do that, especially if you don't want to use any other product, is right after your wash shampoo or deep wash and deep condition or just deep condition. Right after you wash your hair and your hair is wet and still full of water, that's the best time 
to apply oil but applying oil on hair that has already been dried out is not doing you any good anytime you think about moisturizing your hair just think water 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 i know i just annoyed you but just think about that first before you apply an oil or before you apply any product or hair loves water and i feel like we've been taught that our hair hates water but our hair does not hate it our hair loves it come on develop that relationship with water because our hair loves water especially as the first form to moisturize well to thoroughly moisturize our hair so moisturizers can come in different forms gels and custards products along that line aren't meant to moisturize your hair so if you're putting those products on dry hair especially expect for your hair to be dry and to be very susceptible to breakage in the long run so we need a product under those products that are moisturizing like water or you can add your leave in your moisturizer we need those types of products on the gel to prevent our hair from breaking tremendously figure out whether your hair likes butters leave-ins milks heavy sealants hair cream figure out which form of products your hair loves the most and stick with it having moisturized hair is very important when it comes to lint retention because without it your hair is going to break off and up hair like it's not growing but your hair is just breaking off from the ends because dry hair breaks Y'all ever had a bag of chips? Of course y'all ate a bag of chips. What happens when you bite into the chips? It cracks. It breaks. So imagine your hair like that. Your hair just cracking because you have no moisture. Just reference your hair to a bag of chips. Chips are dry. Chips breaks in your mouth. When your hair is dry, it breaks. And you'll never see the breakage. You'll just be like, why my hair is at one length? Why is my hair still at chin length? Why is my hair still at shoulder length? Because it's breaking and you ain't even know it. How often do I moisturize my hair? As I said, it depends on your hair. Some people's hair can hold in moisture for up to a week. Some can go for five days, four days, three days. Some of us have to moisturize our hair every other day because everyone's hair is different. We all live in different climates, different humidities. We all use different products. You just gotta figure out what works for you. But if in one day your hair is drying out, like you moisturize your hair at this minute and by the end of this video your hair is dry again, something is wrong and we have to figure that out. It could be that the product that you use Used, it's not beneficial for your hair it could be that you're not drinking enough water what you put in your body is gonna show on the outside Boop. drink your water keep up on your water intake that is also important as well I drink so much water at this point it's just second nature for me and I know that it's not that way for a lot of people and it's important okay drink your water hmm maybe you're not eating the nutrients that you need to eat to maintain strong healthy hair your hair can also break from that as well your diet plays an important role in how your hair responds to a lot of things but that's a whole nother video i do have a video on that and i'll put that in the cards as well how important your diet and health is for to maintain or to retain or for healthy hair in general and it could also be that you're not moisturizing your hair in the correct way which brings me to the different methods of moisturizing your hair that is currently out there or the most popular ones that may work for the majority of us out here so let's talk about your moisturizing technique if you've been on YouTube for a while you've probably heard about these methods there's the LC O method and the L O C. So basically the L stands for leave-in, the O stands for oil, 
and the C stands for cream. Lord, look how I forgot. But yeah. <laughs> Woo! So with the LCO, you apply a leave-in first, or it can be water. The L can also stand for liquid. Then you'll apply an oil, and then you'll apply a cream, and then the LOC, liquid, water, um, oil, cream. Wait, that's what I just said. LCO, liquid, cream, oil. Yes, got it. Or, most products contain all of those ingredients for instance if you have a cream that has oils in it and you apply the water you can just use the water and the cream or the water and a leave-in conditioner most products have in all those ingredients so if you don't want to have an extensive moisturizing routine by doing either of those techniques just find that one product that works perfectly fine over just water and keeps your hair moisturized for a long period of time one or two hours because that ain't right depending on your hair type sometimes a leave-in conditioner can keep your hair moisturized for long periods of time sometimes a hair milk can keep your hair moisturized it all depends on your hair and you figuring out what's the best type of product that your hair loves to be moisturized with and if you can't find that miracle product, try one of those techniques and see how that works. So one of the biggest things with moisturizing your hair also is finding a product that seals in that moisture. Because if that moisture isn't sealed in correctly, then it will escape. Some people like to seal in their moisture with oils. Another sealant that works really well for a lot of people that I am not against is grease a lot of people went back to using grease and i don't blame y'all honestly but grease is a little bit too greasy for me if i'm stuck somewhere and i have to use it i'm gonna use it like what if none of these pian pian products working for you on the market right now girl grease is right there in the supermarket 285 299 399 184 listen these the prices for grease is very reachable i guess a lot of people are against grease because it has in dangerous ingredients and creates a lot of product build up but honestly if you take precautions to wash your hair thoroughly and get rid of those ingredients off of your hair when the time comes then i don't see an issue with it a lot of us are still getting our nails done can we talk about the dangerous ingredients that surrounds the area of getting your nails done or that you put on your nails so it's like well my hair was flourishing from grease dax grease the green one my hair was flourishing oh and indian hemp my hair was flourishing find what works for you as long as you're not killing anyone in the process but that's why i love butters and creams as a form of moisturizing my hair for longer periods of time one thing to keep in mind is that your moisture game will have to change up depending on the season you're in i grew up in a hot climate like a really hot climate all year round and very humid but when I went to school in the States and I experienced winter for the first time, my hair suffered. Like my hair broke off and I could not, like, I could not get a handle of how to deal with my hair in the winter. It wasn't the easiest thing for me. So one of the things that I realized in the winter, if I don't do a protective style that keeps my hair from being all out for the majority of time, then I have to moisturize my hair a lot more often. Like I would have to moisturize my hair every night. Even if I have it on wash and go, my hair will dry out by the next day. I had to also figure out how often I would have to moisturize my hair in the winter and what types of styles works best for me in the winter to retain and to keep my hair moisturized. And one thing to also pay in mind is that you cannot penetrate hair that's full of build up. So if you have a lot of buildup on your hair, your hair is not going to take in that much moisture or you'll realize that your hair is getting 
dry really quickly no matter how much you moisturize product buildup may be the cause of that so make sure that you're thoroughly cleaning your hair at the times that you need to before you apply products to moisturize your hair and i said this in my previous video sometimes it's not even the product sometimes it's how you deal with your hair and your hair not being thoroughly cleansed so moisture will not penetrate into those strands if they're full of products that weren't cleaned or weren't cleansed from your wash day we gotta clean our hair properly guys if we want moisture to penetrate into our hair shaft moisturizing hair that's full of product buildup is like me creaming my skin my chest right here over my clothes how beneficial would that be like ain't no ain't no cream passing through hair we gotta get the bare skin moisturized up in his chest okay so think about it that way because even if the little cream soaked through the clothes it wouldn't be much and it will be so little that the air would be dry again so remember Sometimes products aren't moisturizing your hair thoroughly or penetrating your hair strand because your hair has product buildup on it. And I can talk about my hair. My hair gets weighed down easily from products. If I want to continue having bomb moisturized hair, I have to, it has to be clean. And I noticed that about my hair. I can't go long periods without washing because my hair will not take in any moisture and it will be super weighed down, super clammy and bam, breakage happens. But that's different for everyone. A lot of people claim that they can go months or weeks without washing their hair. I cannot relate, so I can't speak on that. Just figure out what works for you. Once you get your technique down, once you understand that you need water, once you understand that product buildup can also prevent moisture from going into your hair strands, work on developing that relationship. You know when you need moisture, what kind of moisturizers you need. You develop that relationship with your hair to know that sometimes you will need to moisturize before you usually plan to sometimes or before wash day. Feel your hair and know. Hmm. You're feeling crispy today. You're feeling dry today. Nothing is moisturizing my hair. I need to wash it. I need to shampoo and condition or I need to deep condition my hair. Deep conditioning is also beneficial when it comes to moisture and amount of moisture your hair is going to retain and keep. Well, retain and keep is the same thing. Deep conditioning with heat help has helped me a lot when it comes to keeping my hair moisturized for longer periods of time. Ain't nothing better than a deep conditioning session with heat. You guys should definitely try that if you're having problems keeping your hair moisturized. Try deep conditioning your hair with heat, whether it's under a hooded dryer, the blow dryer, bonnet attachment, and it's also the heated cap or something like that. I've been wanting to try those, but I fear that they won't fit all of my hair. So if you know of anywhere where I can get a good size one that fits all my hair, let me know. Deep conditioning saves lives, saves hair strands. Right one, find that perfect one for you and call it a day and just deep condition away. A rind. Hopefully I touched on everything that I wanted to and hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully it broke down a lot of things that you guys were stressing about. But just know it basically comes down to knowing your hair, knowing what technique works for you, knowing that water is very vital in helping you to moisturize your hair, knowing that just water needs to be your base and your first ingredient. Knowing that sometimes your hair is gonna want to be moisturized every day, every other day, or every five days, every seven days. And it can have a lot to do with the climate, the humidity, the temperature, your environment basically. If your hair dries out couple hours or minutes, in the same day know that something is wrong in your regimen somewhere maybe the technique if you're not doing something right or your hair is in desperate need of a boost of moisture or your hair needs to be cleansed from products and that boost of moisture can come in the form of having a deep conditioning session we gotta step our moisture game up because dry hair breaks hair that breaks does not retain any length thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video 
Oh, check the description box. I'm gonna make sure to deck out that description box for y'all. It's decked out like a Christmas tree for y'all. Even though Christmas has gone, it's gonna come again. But y'all got it early. Check the description box. See you guys in the next video. Bye.